what's going on what's going on guys so i wanted to talk to you about something i know it's going to be a little controversial some of you are going to get mad and drop in the comments so i'm already pre-warning you and when i say that is look we went through a lot of stuff i put together the um the rally of course in washington dc um that was for the corruption especially with the buy button turn off we picked those dates and that's what robin hood did so this is very controversial but i had to come to terms with the fact that listen man robin hood did what they did so did the other brokers they obviously got away with it um, some of you know some of you don't know that I actually was a part of a subpoena process I had to give a three and a half hour deposition uh, to Robin Hood lawyers uh, what was that a year and a half two years ago now um, it's all sealed but it had to do with the uh, lawsuit of a retail investor against Robin Hood from 2021 the uh, if you guys remember that lawsuit it was in Florida anyway the point is they won that case um, look where we're at now right so we're all complaining we're upset we've been mad hate Robin Hood hate on Robin Hood whatever the case may be but look man I came to terms with it I've used Robin Hood solely for the crypto side of it um, I did do some option trades in there just because it was simple and easy and fast um, so I tried that when I was trying to learn but mainly it's been for my crypto now you guys may not be aware and maybe you are if you still have a Robin Hood account or not but Robin Hood started it was going to introduce a gold card a credit card and this is something I decided to do. And I say this because you know what? I'm got, I gotta make my money, guys. You gotta make your money. You got to take care of yourself no matter what the feelings and you know whatever the feelings and emotions are of the past and what has happened obviously robin hood got away with what they did other brokers have done the same thing um there's just no ifs ands buts about it we can't change the past and they only continue to grow their stock has gone up uh recently as well it continues to go up there's still 24 26 million or more users there is a ton of people out there still using robin hood. in fact i bet you there's a lot of those uh social media influencers there's a lot of those YouTubers, a lot of those different guys that may have not been promoting them necessarily for the free stock, but I bet you they're out there and they still have Robin Hood and they didn't switch when we all panicked. You guys remember when we all panicked back in 2021 or whatever it was and we're like, we need to switch, go to Fidelity. You remember that was a big push? Go to Fidelity, drop your Robin Hood. Well, I did. I transferred all my AMC stock over to uh, E-Trade and then I eventually opened up a Fidelity, but I'd already had the E-Trade. But here's the deal. That gold card, that credit card, listen, I I applied for it. I have that on my Robin Hood account. It just came out today um, I just got it and the reason why I'm doing that let me tell you why and I find it valuable is they do a 3% cash back okay 3% cash back on all purchases so it's not like only gasoline or wherever it may be now I've been doing that with my Southwest Airlines card because I was building up miles so we can take trips but mainly I was building up miles for the last four years now I think roughly maybe a little longer so I could eventually pay for a complete trip to Hawaii well, I've reached that level. I've actually used it to buy plane tickets and things like that before, but I know I have enough. And I'm switching now. I'm no longer going to be using that card. I have went ahead and applied, received, going to be receiving in the uh, in the mail the Robin Hood Gold Card. That way, I get three percent cash back. Now, guess what? When they apply that three percent cash back to my Robin Hood account, right? They apply it every time, whatever it's at the end of the month, however they do it. That money. Guess what I'm going to do with that money? Now, I'm not going to be like the general what we've been in the last three years uh degenerate gamblers chasing meme stocks and everything else i'm going to use that for two things one i'm going to start getting into dividend stocks um because you imagine i'm getting three percent cash back for using that card and then that cash i could turn around and buy some actual dividend stocks like coca-cola at&t johnson and johnson verizon um there's a lot of really good ones out there right oh uh the realty uh, i can't there's plenty of them i've been doing some research but i'm going to use that three percent cash back that's money to me turn around and start investing that into some actual dividend earning stocks so then that theory theory is that those stocks are free because I got them from the cash back in a sense and then they start creating me dividend paybacks and then the second thing of course is I'm going into crypto big time guys especially if you've listened and heard what Trump said he wants to make America one of the biggest the leader of Bitcoin he wants to see what is it over a million Bitcoin shares being held in reserves through the United States government if he gets makes it in and I got a feeling he'll make it 
regardless though um, we, that is the future so I'm gonna take advantage guys I'm sorry this is about me my family my future I can't stop Robin Hood but you know what if they're gonna be giving these things away I can take advantage of these things and not to mention now that I've been able to get my finances to the point where I can basically float my entire month so all my bills all my payments everything goes to that credit card and then at the end of the month or halfway through the month when I get paid my paychecks I turn around and I send a chunk of change from my paychecks to pay it off but there's a lot of money from my paychecks that sit in my bank account doing nothing in the meantime well guess what Robinhood actually does a earning interest a percentage I don't know where they're at now I think they're 4.25 percent while that money is sitting in that Robinhood account, it can be gaining 4.25%. So if I play my cards right, I've gotten to the point where I can float everything on the credit card, pay off the credit card each, each paycheck, and now I'm secure because I've been hacked before. My bank account got hacked. That's what really pushed me to do this. They almost stole all my money out of there, man. Almost got away with it. But I've had my credit cards hacked and then the credit card companies just deny the charges and they put it right back or negative, you know, put it back on my card. And if you go after a bank sometimes to get your money back, it's harder. So what I've learned is to put it on my credit card. That way, if something were to happen, it's easily, I can fight them, right? And so I've been doing that, plus it helps with my credit. So I now have got my life at a point where I can put everything on a credit card, pay everything back off, and fully take advantage of these cash back offers. So I personally am signed up for this Robin Hood. I wanna get that cash back option on there. I'm gonna take that 3% because if I'm putting my average bills monthly is anywhere between $4,500 and $4,800, whatever it may be, right? Well, at 3% back, what is that? A hundred and, well, I don't know. I gotta do the math. 400 and something, so like a hundred and something bucks a month. Well, 100 something bucks a month put towards either crypto, which is for me has been Bitcoin and SHIB. Um, but if I put that through dividend paying stocks, I'm going to start stacking and racking and stacking and racking and building up. Warren Buffett said it. You know, it's about the time in the market, right? Not time in the market. This whole, you know, being a degenerate and jumping on these fast squeeze stocks and everything else. I mean, honestly, I've lost more and lost my ass and learned over the last three years that, you know what? That's not necessarily the way to go. I can have some fun money and take those risks over here. But at my age of 45, I really need to build it up. I need something building up and dividends, I believe, I've been researching for a while, is a good way to go. They're not fun. They're not exciting necessarily. But you know what? It's just income that builds up. And if you drip it back into that same one, you keep buying it and you keep stacking all by taking advantage of Robinhood. You see? So now I'm going to make them, Robinhood's going to pay me. I'm gonna make them fools pay me. They wanna offer 3%, damn right I'm gonna get that 3% cash back. And on top of that, if they're gonna offer me 4.25%, I'm gonna start making sure all my money is hanging out and sitting over Robinhood because it's secured just like any other bank. In fact, if you read the fine print, they have multitudes of banks that they fall under, right? That they all fall under. So hate on them, be pissed at them, but what the F are we gonna do against them? We might as well take advantage of them. So anyway, you all know, you may have a Robinhood account. If not, if there's a link, I may share it in the comments. Maybe it helps me. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. Be one of those guys. Um, but I don't know. Think about it. 3% cash back. And buy dividends with it. Fill it up and buy crypto. Let it build. Let it build. Let it build. So anyway, I'm just sharing that with you guys. And then I'll share more as I adventure into that and see what that program fully looks like. But I, I got approved. Get my Robinhood card, it's coming in the mail, and I'm gonna put everything on it and get my 3% bash cash back. Tell me what you think. Are you already doing it? Sound like a good idea, or you just hate Robinhood that much that you can't stand the idea? But anyway, just sharing with you, I'm getting my 3%.